Our school, Michael Nogo Shikhaniketan, government-sponsored co-ed English medium higher secondary, has taken an excellent initiative in conducting online classes through YouTube channel. Even in this pandemic situation, our school did not step back in providing and enhancing knowledge to the students. So, it's a request to the viewers, please like, comment and subscribe. So today we will continue with climatic regions. Uh, last year we have done equatorial climate and today we will do with the continue with the monsoon type of climate. The word monsoon implies mosim, okay, and uh, which is called season. Why it is called uh, see, uh, seasonal? Because it has a different pattern and it changes uh, or it blows from different directions in different parts of the year during the summer and winter months. In the location of uh, this type of climate where we can find this type of climate is from 10 to 30 degree north and south latitudes both in both the hemispheres and uh, in Asia we uh, with the countries which experience this type of climate is India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Pakistan and in uh, Africa it is Somalia and Madagascar and in uh, Australia it is Queensland. Okay, so, this places generally experiences this type of climate. Now, uh, if we are dividing this, this climate into different patterns, so we will get that uh, it, is, uh, it is divisible in four distinctive seasons. They are summer, winter, monsoon and autumn. In the summer months, generally it is from March to uh, June and we have temperature in an average of 30 degrees Celsius and uh, the it may exceed to 38 degrees Celsius or in the extreme uh, where the temperature is in extreme condition it may rise to above uh, 40 degrees Celsius and it is very sultry in the summer months then it follows by the monsoon 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 we have a uh, distinctive southeast trade winds and northeast monsoon winds which which influences this climate very much because it brings rainfall to those parts which are influenced by this type of climate then comes uh, the autumn autumn months is from uh, uh, October to mid November and there is uh, the climate remains the weather remains pleasant uh, at that time and after that we have the winter months ok. So, this is a general pattern of monsoon type of climate wherever this type of climate prevails. Now, what type of biodiversity do we find? This type of climate generally uh, give a boost to the agricultural uh, portion and rice and jute is very well cultivated in this type of climate ok. And we have also this countries which experience this experiences this type of climate are uh, generally found in the plains and the temperature is also moderate and that is why we have a huge number of population concentrated on this belts where the people live. Uh, there are mineral uh, mineral deposits are also found in these countries and uh, also transportation is also very nice uh, or uh, well connected where the people can find their own um, uh, accommodation they live uh, well they earn their livelihood and there is a great prospect people in of people living in this type of climatic region. So, the next type is the Mediterranean type of climate. This is a special region. It is mentioned that this is a special region of hot temperate region. It covers almost or this type of climate is generally found uh, the, in the countries which is around the Mediterranean Sea and there are 16 countries which experiences this type of climate. I have written some. Uh, it is France, Italy, Spain, Greece, uh, Portugal, Egypt, Lebanon, etc. Out of this 16 countries I have mentioned this, but the total 16 countries there are some portions of California also which experiences this type of climate. Now this uh, the places which experiences this type of climate has dry summers and wet winters ok. So that means the rainfall does not occur in summer and it uh, happens in winter, winter season. The temperature in the summer months is generally uh, within 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius and in winter see the temperature is from is, uh, the temperature difference is from 5 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. 
the rainfall and annual range of temperature annual range of temperature means the difference between the maximum and the minimum temperature recorded throughout the year and it is 17 degree celsius on an average uh, annual uh, the, the rainfall is getting uh, influenced by the wet westerlies which originates from the atlantic ocean and it brings rainfall in the winter months so the region which uh, which gets this the type of climate is also called uh, the land of uh, winter rainfall because when rainfall occurs in the winter months now coming to the vegetation because climate and vegetation is very much related to each other so this 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 type of climate generally uh, gives us a uh, varied type of vegetation first is we can all we can find the coniferous uh, vegetation type where we can find trees like pine fir cedar this type of vegetation is also exist over there evergreen vegetation like oak cork eucalyptus rosewood all this all this type of trees grows as part of the evergreen vegetation in the third we have the shrub type where we have maple laurel rosemary lavender and the main tree which grows this in this type of climate is olive okay it is a chief tree in the uh, in this climatic region also this type of climatic climate also enhances the growth of fruits so this countries which generally uh, experiences this type of climate has a, a number of citric fruits grow, growing in this region apart from agriculture agriculture is also de well developed because the temperature and rainfall uh, the condition enhances the growth of uh, agriculture like wheat barley maize all this grows apart from this citric fruits are also grown in this type of region and these regions are called baskets of fruit now minerals are not so well developed but we have the famous hollywood in california because of the weather condition it always remains very good the weather is very sunny and uh, pleasant climate and we have the hollywood situated in, in california where uh, this type of climate prevails climatic region which we are going to study is the tundra climatic region the name tundra <coughs> is uh, named after an algae okay and during the summer months when the uh, snow melts the, this algae grow we does not we do not generally find a uh, number of vegetation over there because of the uh, short summer and long intensive winter we know the climatic region is uh, uh, in the frigid zone and it remains covered with snow for 8 to 9 months of the year and uh, we uh, the location we, we here in the northern parts of canada parts of eurasia norway in southern hemisphere we have antarctica and all those regions which are near the poles experiences this type of climate uh, when the when the snow melts there is uh, the algae moss and lichens and this type of uh, types of uh, small small plants grow and uh, after that it all it remains uh, uh, covered with uh, for snow and it is called permafrost region the local inhabitants of this place are the aboriginals that the those who are uh, means uh, of that native in that places the eskimos red indians samoyeds and lapland with different regions in different parts this ta this type of climate generally does not uh, um, allows you for an uh, agricultural uh, uh, site because of the adverse type of climatic region okay now we find over there animals like uh, the seal uh, then the polar bears then the uh, we have the uh, dogs which uh, generally are used for the uh, carriage purpose and all those things the people they live in the um, uh, houses made up of ice called igloo but now they are these things are changing these things are changing because in the southern hemisphere there are different type of space stations which are being uh, uh, created over there for the uh, for the scientific uh, researches and we also have find in this type of climate the aurora borealis and the aurora australis in the aurora borealis we this is the uh, display of natural lights in the sky when they have six months night and in the uh, in the northern hemisphere it is called aurora borealis and in the southern hemisphere it is called aurora australis but due to the the researchers have found that there are lots of mineral oil found and so the industries are they uh, growing means this these things are changing means the uh, the old uh, thing of or old tradition of their livelihood is changing day by day 
and they are also getting accustomed with the new mode slowly and slowly. Okay, so this is the this is the the last portion of the chapter. Please go through the chapter, and uh, where the questions will be given your in your PDF. And this is in page number uh, up till sixty four of your book. Go through the chapter thoroughly uh, and follow this video. Subscribe. Click on the bell. Like. Comment. Share.